second, guys. I'm gonna get myself something to drink. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, so let's see. Oh, that's not right. Where am I? 292, so that's 2920 hey. pieces of gold for free. Let's trade some gold nuggets. Let's trade. There you go. Nice amount of gold, thank you. I already looted this one. Yes, I did, okay. Just make doubly sure. Yeah. Alright, so let's take care of Raven. Hey, slow down. You aren't getting in there, so beat it. Get out of my way. I have to see Raven. No one enters these quarters. Direct orders from Raven himself. It is damned important that I get to him. It is. No, it isn't. Only Bloodwind has permission to stay in there. All right, then uh, what about Bloodwind's head? Is, is that? Is that Bloodwind? Oh, that. Oh, uh, yes, uh, 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 no, I mean, uh, uh y you can go in. Thanks. Let's drop his head. We no longer need it. There we go. A trophy. Could be that the uh, cutscene will be black screen, but if that is the case, I will skip it. But you know, I've got the Twitch delay bullshit. So I can't move share. Okay, it works. That's good. Get Raven's guard armor. It's a rather good armor. It's better than the uh, Ring of Water armor. Alright, so let's save again and take care of these zombies. There will be plenty of them.
There we go. Easy peasy. Let's loot the place. bags and let's go to the water mages I'll hold the raven situation and then I have to summon Redemus I mean quadrant Redemus is the one that uh, raven summoned Let's I'm gonna purchase the rune book of the water mages so I can craft runes later on. What's this? Ring of more lords. Uh, oh. I can sell those if I wanted to. You know, but I'll keep the pirate's armor. I don't need fair fire arrows, fire rain could be handy. This is paybook, Greg's logbook, they don't need that. Um, do you have red tear pepper? I doubt that you do, but you, at least you have rune stones. No, he doesn't have red tear pepper, I need that for a um, mind altering potion. Just need those for mind altering potions. I don't need a statue out of Venus. There we go. Thanks, man. The runes of water and the ingredients necessary for their creation. Whirlwind, Icelands, Geysia, Storm, Water Fist. I can purchase all those ingredients if needed. About Raven. About Raven. I made my way into Raven's quarters. And? What about Raven? I came too late. He disappeared into the Adonis Temple right before my eyes. What? That is a catastrophe. Why didn't you follow him? I couldn't follow Raven. I couldn't. I must think. The question is, how did Raven get into the temple? And what did he do before he passed through the portal? He spoke an incantation at the gate. And before that? He opened a burial chamber. I already told you about that. Right. A ritual. Yes, that's it. I fear that Raven has made the power of the guardians of the dead his own. He got his knowledge of the temple from a spirit. You must go to Mixier and tell him about this. I will do that. Saturus. May Adonis protect you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, let's leave till next morning makes it easier to visual for the visual effects now where is mix here Satur 
teach me their language. Teach me. There is nothing more that I can show you. Oh. You have now mastered the language of the builders. Okay. Well, Satura sent it Satura. me. Raven has made his way into the temple and blocked the portal from the inside. Saturus thinks he got his information about the temple from a ghost. By Adonis. He must have summoned the high priest Cardamon to ask him about a way into the temple. According to the records, his grave was in the caves under the fortress. You will have to do the same, but you cannot ask Cardamon anymore. The grave of the warrior prince Quahodron is supposed to lie in the west of the valley. You will have to find it and waken Quarhodron. It is written in these inscriptions how a believer of Adonos can summon a spirit. Do you think that'll really work? I've read a lot of crazy ramblings. For example, the writings of Iberian, the leader of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. But I believe every word of the author of these writings. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper didn't just spread lies. The but it wasn't their lies that made them implausible. It was their words as such. They were more confusingly unbelievable. They I showed thought the that would be possible. The well, we day after tomorrow, the well, actually tomorrow since already 12. That convinced me I'll that have money this again for purchase tobacco. Which is good. Are you really serious? But why Quahodron and... Why not the High Priest Cardamon? What? Raven has desecrated the grave of Cardamon with his summoning. We can assume that. We shall have to look for another spirit. Are you really freaking serious? I, I want to explore every possibility. Even if there is only a ghost of a chance for us to meet one of the builders, <laughs> then we have to do it. Raven has managed to do it after all. Supposing I do want to summon this ghost of Quahodron. How am I supposed to do that? Quahodron's grave in the west of the valley. His ghost can be summoned by the words of the guardians of the dead, which I have written for you here. That's all. Now you just have to find the grave. Oh, luck, I know. Son. I know where to find the grave. But what was that again about the... Nah, no need to. Alright, so let me save. No, not over chapter one. And let's go to the canyon first. To the valley. To canyon. And get the final relic. For Saturus. Healing plant. Oh. And there's still a couple of orcs outside that are alive. Most of the pirates died. Well, actually, all of them. But, uh, you know, casualties of war. all of them all at once. Little bugger, these orcs.
Was that or dying? And I don't want to die. If I can't win, use the environment to your advantage. Now the most challenge of them all, the fire devil. It shouldn't be that much of a challenge compared to three orcs at the same time, but those creatures are very powerful. That sound spooked the hell out of me. Oh, this is child's play. there. Couple of portions. Stone tablet, always nice. Let me check out this book. Because of the guardians of the dead could call the ancestors, their absence hurt deeply. Without the counsel of the ancestors, we are at the mercy of our people. The healers were sent to seal the portal and destroy the key. Only Adonis knows what happened to them, or if they even achieved their goal, which they did. The warrior caste has been destroyed by the wrath of Adonis. The heart of the old warrior prince is broken. Only the remaining priests raise hopes and preach constantly of the rebirth of our once magnificent city. However, we scholars know the bitter truth. Jakandar has fallen and we will fade in the river of time. Oh jolly. What about this book? Hey, another stone tablet. Which is the one I need for uh, Saturus. Redeemers was the imprisoned forever in the temple of Adanos, but the power of the sword was not broken. His influence had become too great. The killings in the streets would not stop. The wrath of Adanos ended everything. The sea raised itself over Jarkandar and flooded the whole city. Once the temples and the structures in higher places were left almost untouched, the few who did survive the casta cat uh, catastrophe no longer had the strength to rebuild the city, and thus the fate of Jakandar was sealed. <sighs> Poor people. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to plunder. Can I plunder something out of this? Nothing there. Nope. It's too bad. Since, you know, fire devils are basically magical invoked creatures, so I should at least be able to take their hearts, but... Then again, it could be that they have no hearts. Okay. 
rest in peace. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Another stone tablet, a little tiny bit of gold. I feel it's a bit of gold helps. Now here you can find the answers for uh, Quahodron. That's why I'm reading them. Quahodron's age made it possible for him to lead our army and so the priests insisted on their right com of command over him. They have instructed him to re resign his office and pass on the sword to Claw Baliar. The Council of Five was determined his successor. However, the warrior caste denied the Council a choice. The warriors would no longer submit to the Council of Five and selected his son Redeemers as their new leader, who is the one, you know, where the Claw Baliar and caused war in the ancient city of Jarkandar. Out of pride and confidence in his own flesh and blood, Quahodran decided to give it to him, to give it to them. He delivered the sword to his son in the hope that he would wield it with the same strong hand as he had himself, without being corrupted, possessed. But what Redeemers did was praying towards the statuettes of Baliar, and uh, eventually Baliar took over his mind. His mind turned to darkness. And thus the war began in Jarkandar. Now I'll first explore the little cave up area up there, which will have like, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 crawlers, a couple of other critters, maybe. But at least we'll have some loot. And the XP is good because I need about um two-handed still needs to be trained to 90 so that's 30 percent which is about 60 learning points give it or take and then the bow to 100 percent once it reached 90 percent you cannot learn it more but to make it 100 percent you have to read the tablets and such you know if you do not have vanilla gothic then or Night of the Raven, I mean. The 90% is basically all you can get. About 95 together with the book that you can purchase, which cost about 5,000 pieces of gold. 95% is still quite nice, but I will get over 100%. So that every hit that I do will be a critical hit. Every. Alright, so archery, I need those. Crossbow, I don't need. Life energy, I don't need. Uh, strength, I basically don't need. Two-handed, I do need. This guy's main focus is dexterity, bow, and two-handed. The rest was optional, like strength. The only reason why I needed strength was because of this blade in particular. The Master Work Two-Hander. Which added by Knights uh, by uh, Heights of fence. Power, another stone tablet. Two-handed combat, nice. Couple of murky mushrooms. God damn it. There we go. Um, where is... 
go, couple of plants, always nice. If you guys got questions, you know, feel free to ask. Because questions are food for the mind. Couple of minecrawler plates which I can use to make minecrawler armor. And if I can remember correctly, I can make more than one. But that remains to be seen. If that is the case, then it will be a nice amount of free gold. Better than sending them apart. Mushrooms, a couple of digger meats. This is this leads to the bandit camp. Really don't need it, but I will explore it nevertheless. There we go. Yeah, creatures down there already killed them. Was a couple of uh, swamp rats, a couple of swamp sharks. Already took care of them before entering the bandits camp and obtaining this weapon. This weapon in particular requires 120 dex and 120 strength. My current strength is 129 and my current dex is 141 which is rather powerful. But if I wanted to I could get it to 300 which is also added by heights of power. Normally the max stats in vanilla gothic is 200. But, you know, there's no bow in this game that actually requires 300, at least as far as I know. Mushrooms. Which can give permanent mana. And since I'm going to be a mage, permanent mana is going to be handy. Because, you know, in the end, all three paths, which I will eventually do, will have connections towards magical capabilities. The Servant of Adonis will use transform magic and ice magic and wind magic you know um, Balear will focus on summoning and lightning damage and Enos will some focus on fire magic and in Gothic 3 that's where the difference really really starts you know when it comes to um, magical capabilities. First I will do the entire series on the first path, at least to Forsaken Gods. You know, Gothic 4, maybe I will do that That's later good. on, once I beat it all three paths. But even Gothic 4 will have three paths, playthroughs. If it has three particular factions to join, which I think that it does, but I'm not 100% sure because it's been like ages since I last played Forsaken Gods, um, Forsaken Gods, Gothic 4, Forsaken Gods as well, but that all remains to be seen. 
because no matter what path you choose, no matter what purposes you serve, you know, whether you serve no gods, Adonis, which is in my opinion the atheist, um, or whether you serve the good god or the bad god, in the end, the destiny, the destination of the hero remains the same, which is becoming a, mm, you know, a mad king, hungered for blood, wars and bloodshed. <laughs>